David Green, CEO of the Florida Pain Network. We connect those in pain with pain relievers throughout the state. The topic for today is sacroiliac joint pain and radio frequency inflation. Sacroiliac joint, there's actually two of them at the lowest part of the lumbar spine. So you have your lumbar spine coming down, it meets up with the sacrum, there's your tailbone, and then you have where the ilium meets it, there's two joints, one here and one here. And in 12 to 25 percent of people with low back pain, the sacroiliac joint, one of them, is the source of the pain. So the newest treatment for this pain is called a radiofrequency ablation. I mean, there are, uh, physical therapy can help, chiropractic treatment can help, anti-inflammatories and some other medications, but the latest and greatest treatment is a treatment right around the joint called a radiofrequency ablation where the pain doctor can put a needle in and heat it up and deaden the tiny little nerve branches that are supplying sensation to this joint. Now you can't see those on this model. These are just nerve roots coming out and the pain doctor stays away from those. But over half of patients in studies it has been shown get over 50% relief from the radiofrequency ablation. It's very impressive, okay? Especially considering that it's an irregular joint, it's kind of jagged, okay? And it can be difficult in a steroid injection to get the medication all the way up and down it. So getting over 50% pain relief can be very effective. It can be a game changer in a person's life. Now, a recent study at the American Academy of Pain Medicine this year looked at the correlation between numbing medicine injections as to how they correlate with the results of a radiofrequency ablation. Normally, before you're allowed to have a radiofrequency ablation, a pain doctor would inject some numbing medicine around this area, and if you got good relief and then it wore off, you get a radiofrequency ablation. What this doctor showed in his research is that even if you didn't get a really good pain relief from the numbing medicine, most of those people still got excellent relief from a radiofrequency ablation. Very interesting. So, we'll see how that pans out in clinical practice, but if you're having significant low back pain, check out FloridaPainNetwork.com and just click on I need a pain doctor and put your zip code in and there will be options that are closest to you will pop up. A lot of the doctors are board certified, fellowship trained uh, in a lot of cases. The radio frequency ablation around your safety. And it can give you potentially six, more, six months or more.